Hi everyone, it's Bev DeBono with Tuesday's Technique. Today I want to show you how to do this classic knot for a beautiful title page. And you can see that I've done it with an autumn theme here and also a, a Christmas theme here. So what do we need to get started? First we need double-sided designer paper that has a very different contrast on both sides. And we need just one sheet of cardstock for your base. We are going to start making a frame, a half an inch frame all around the edge uh, of the cardstock, I mean of the uh, designer paper. Now to make your half inch frame, we start, I'm going to give you the measurements for the housing unit because the blade cuts where this little white line is and there's an inch difference between the white line to the bottom of the housing unit, the blue housing unit. So the measurements that I'm going to give you are from the bottom of the blue housing unit because then you can see those numbers right on your railing here. So to make a half inch frame, we are going to start with putting our the edge of our paper at the half inch mark, line it up on the half inch mark, and then we're going to start where the bottom of the housing, the bottom of our housing starts at the inch and a half mark. Okay, and that means that it's actually going to be cutting at the half inch mark. And we're going to stop at the bottom where the bottom of the housing goes down to the 12 and a half. And so this one we're going to have to guess a little bit because the paper ends here. So we're going to have to go a little further down. All right, so let's get started inch and a half at the bottom on the top and then we're going down to about 12 and a half and we're going to repeat this four times and we're going to be doing a um, half inch frame start where you're at one and a half inch down to the 12 and a half inch mark so you see we're making a frame Line your paper up at the half inch mark. Again, start with the bottom of your housing. The bottom of your housing starts at the one, of a half, one and a half inch mark and goes down to about the 12 and a half inch mark. Okay, so start one and a half at the top and line your bottom up to the 12 and a half inch mark. Okay. And now you have a half inch frame, which is gonna go around the outside of your um, page. Next, we're going to do an inner frame. And this time, we're going to do an inch and a half frame. And to do an inch and a half frame, we line our paper up to the inch and a half mark here. And we're going to start at the top where the bottom of the housing starts at the two and a half inch mark. So that's going to start there, and the bottom is going to end at the ten and a half inch mark. And we are going to do this all the way four sides. Line your paper up to the one and a half inch, start at the two and a half inch, and at ten and a half inch. And we're talking about the bottom of the housing at that point. Start with the top, top where the bottom of your housing is at the two and a half inch mark, and go down to where it stops. The bottom of your housing stops at the ten and a half inch mark. Okay, and now we are going to do um, the fourth one, and now we have an eight inch square for the inside. <clears throat> So this is what it's going to look like after it's taped down. I'm going to have it look like that. <clears throat> now we have an eight inch square and we are going to cut this at a diagonal. And what we're going to do is, first we're going to fold it 
in a diagonal and we have to decide which paper we want facing up. So I want this side facing up. So that is the um, how I'm going to fold it. Diagonally across. Okay. Then I'm going to uh, turn it, I'm going to hold on to the folded side. Oops, this is the folded side. Okay. And I'm going to line it to the one inch mark to cut. And I'm going to stop it two inches down. So I'm going to end with my housing ending at the seven inch mark. So it's going to cut from the very top down to where your housing is ending at the seven inch mark. Okay, and then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing, put it at the one inch mark, and I'm going to cut through until the bottom of my housing ends at the seven inch mark. Okay, and now what I have is um, it not cut all the way through. Okay. So to make it easy, what I've figured out how to do is you hold, um, this is going to be your base, and so I'm going to hold these two dangly pieces here, and then I'm going to just put one under the other until it comes up to about, oh, maybe a half an inch, and then I'm, I will just um, fold it down and then fold this one down to where this is also a half an inch and now I have a beautiful knot and you can actually put the knot um, so this this paper will be all put down and you can put your knot this way I kind of like it this way and this is using the boho escape paper and you can even add something like this in the middle, and it's a beautiful title page. Or you can also um, use a few of these around your edges to make another page. Or you can put your knot this way, or this side, or up and down. If you do that up and down, you can do that this way um, as well. All right, so I hope you have enjoyed um, your knot. You can certainly um, add some embellishments. I would probably add something like this to the bottom and then something like this uh, to the top. And it makes um, a beautiful title page. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed Tuesday's technique. Um, it's just a classic knot page, but it makes a beautiful, beautiful title page. Um, and as you can see, just by changing the papers, you can change um, the looks um, very quickly. So start with something that has a lot of contrast and you'll be good to go. Hope you enjoyed Tuesday's technique. Please like it on Facebook or make a comment for me. I'd appreciate that. And tune in next week. Bye-bye.